So we initially set up the peer mediation scheme in 2005 and we set it up because we wanted to equip our young people with the skills to navigate the tricky world of social relationships. Uh, a lot of our young people do find it hard to know what to do if they fall out with people and we found that the peer mediation programme helps them and it also rolls out to model that process to their peers so we found that the population as a whole becomes better at resolving conflict through the peer mediation program. We've known for many years that students benefit and uh, respond better to being mediated and, and spoken to by their peers rather than adults at times of crisis or disagreement. But we've also noticed the secondary benefit of students themselves who are doing the mediations, their behaviour improves as a result of being part of the program. We have um, expanded and widened the remit of the mediators so that when they're on duty they're not only looking out for conflict, they're looking out for any pupils that are looking on their own or looking sad. So they play a really important role in the wider community um, around issues of anti-bullying and friendship and well-being in the school. Because being mean to people doesn't achieve anything. So I want to help people be kind to each other. Because I like helping people and I'm good at it. Because you can help people when they're upset. What I want to do is help people become better, more better friends. I think I've learned quite a lot of skills helping people and being more confident in general. I'm more confident, I'm more independent. I'm not shy anymore and I can speak to more people and I can make people happy and I've learned how to do that. Knowing how to help people when they need help. So if they need help, I can give them a hand and help them so much. It tells you every aspect how to deal with situations and how to deal with people falling out. We learn about the peer media, I promise. We learn about how to listen to people and show respect. Our student population has changed quite a lot over the last 15 years and the um, literacy levels of our pupils and cognitive ability has um, changed and in response to that we have adapted our original resources, we've made them um, more streamlined, we've condensed them down, we use a lot of uh, visual resources so we've got um, booklets that've got communicating print instructions for each stage of the process and we've also incorporated Makaton signing for each stage of the process as well. It helps us to recap what we should do. It helps train us and helps me remember how to be a peer mediator. So if my friends struggle to speak, they can do Makaton and I can understand them and they can understand me. When you help someone, it can make the world a better place. I can be responsible, help people and make people happy. So you can give our teachers um, a break from um, handling students outside on the playground. Helping others being, well, friends again if they've fallen out. In our annual student survey, between 60 and 70% of pupils every single year report that a peer mediator has helped them that year. So um, that is extremely powerful, that peer support um, is at the heart of Seven Hills. The governors here at Seven Hills recognise that this project ties in nicely with our ethos, our values and our aims. The peer mediator team is so valued and respected within school. They're supported by all members of staff and the pupils really, really look up to them and they feel that. And what they experience is actually making a real difference to their community and that is an incredibly uh, valuable experience for them. Mm -hmm.